How's it going, everyone? Bass here. I hope everyone has had a great weekend so far. So day 14 of Packers training camp is now finished, and today's camp was a big day. A big day for some of the guys on the physically unable to perform list. Three players were activated off the POP today. Christian Watson, Robert Tunyon, and Elton Jenkins. So I do have some clips from all three of these guys' practice today to react to and break down for you guys. And of course, I will have videos such as this practice highlights for every single day of Packers training camp. So if you are new here and that does interest you, please consider going down, click the subscribe button as well as turning on post notifications to not miss any of the videos. I also do source all of these clips off of Twitter, so the respective owners will be in the description down below. All right, so without further ado, let's bring up the screen and get right into the first clip, and this is Elton Jenkins, man. It is great to see Elton Jenkins back on the field practicing. We've seen him in the rehab for the past few weeks, and he's been looking better each time we've seen him. Uh, we saw a rehab clip of him last week, and he looked really good on that left leg. He looks really, really good here and activated off the PUP. This is such a huge boost for the Packers offensive line. I mean, it's going to be such a big boost for the right side of that offensive line in specific, depending on where they play Elton Jenkins. I would assume it would be right tackle to start, but obviously if David Bakhtiari doesn't go, which fingers crossed, um, Elton would likely be at left tackle. But we'll, we'll see exactly what they do there. But nonetheless, it's just great to see him out here. And here's another clip of him bursting upfield, getting that block. He looks super quick, a lot of explosion. It doesn't look like a guy that tore his ACL under nine months ago. The recovery for him has been outstanding. I mean, if we can get Elton Jenkins back week one, that is just crazy. I expected him to start the year on the PUP. Missed the first four games. I said that multiple times, but hey, he's activated off the PUP now and, and definitely has a shot to play week one. That would be massive. And here's one more clip of Elton Jenkins. Again, he just looks really, really great. Um, like I said before, I'm interested to see where they would put him. And as I said, it, it really depends on David Bakhtiari. But Josh Nyman has been playing really well um, at left tackle, right tackle, whatever it may be. The right side of that offensive line, that first preseason game on Friday, struggled a little bit. Uh, Royce Newman, uh, Jake Hansen. So I would assume... They'd throw Jake Hansen back at right guard and put Elton at right tackle. But obviously, he can play anywhere. This dude is is jack of all trades. He can play every single position on the offensive line at an extremely high level and be one of the best at that position in the entire NFL. So, so happy to see Elton Jenkins back. I'm hoping this is, you know, his recovery is complete. He can get out in the field week one and start dominating because he is a, such an excellent offensive lineman, and this offensive line definitely needs him. And the second player activated was tight end Robert Tunyon, and he doesn't even have a knee brace or anything here, and he is looking very, very smooth. I expected him to be activated before week one um, in rehab. He's been cutting on that leg it's seemingly with no issue, and as you see here, that quick release, no issue. Um, Robert Tunyon, man, we need him. Uh, Tyler Davis had a bad preseason game, and I still believe in Tyler Davis, but Robert Tunyon uh, is a big target for Aaron Rodgers. We saw that in uh, 2020 with, I think, 10 touchdowns, so it's going to be big to get him back for that move tight end, that vertical guy. He's going to help this offense a lot, and, and hopefully you know, he's ready to go week one and has no holdups with this, but it doesn't look like he will. He looks really, really good in this clip. And here's another clip of him in this blocking drill, just driving this block back, you know, pushing off both of those knees with equal pressure. It doesn't look like he has any issue. And like I said, I expect full force 100% Robert Tunyon week one. Aaron Rodgers needs a safety blanket tight end like Robert Tunyon. And I have one more clip of Robert Tunyon running a quick hitch route here, and he looks super, super quick on his feet here. He even looks quicker than I remember him, and that might just be a recency bias thing, but he looks really really good here. Obviously, he would be the starting tight end for the Packers week one if he's ready to go. And then at this point, if Robert Tunyon is ready to go, uh, that tight end room becomes a little heavy between, you know, Josiah DeGuara, him and Mercedes Lewis. Those are your three guys that you, you expect to 100% make the roster. So it kind of leaves one spot between Tyler Davis and Dominique Daphne. And Dominique Daphne wasn't practicing today. Tyler Davis had a rough preseason uh, game one, but I still believe in Tyler Davis. But um, he's gonna get gonna get hidden down on the depth chart if Robert Tunyon is ready to go because Robert Tunyon is a big part of this offense and obviously they want him back starting tight end week one. And last but certainly not least, the third player activated off the PUP was Christian Watson, and we've been waiting to see anything Christian Watson for a long time now. So. Hopefully this means we'll get to see him next Friday against the Saints. The, the Packers have joint practices Tuesday and Wednesday as well against the Saints. So hopefully we get to see full action Christian Watson against the Saints cornerbacks. That would be really good to see. I mean, like I said before, Romeo Dobbs, the emer 
resurgence of him uh, has kind of been overshadowing the fact that we haven't even seen our second round wide receiver yet. And you have other players around the league like George Pickens coming onto the scene, you know, doing really well. And yet we haven't even seen Christian Watson. So luckily we've had something like Romeo Dobbs, our fourth round selection, do so well, catch a touchdown in that first preseason game, continue on field to what he's been doing in practice. So having Christian Watson back here, can't wait to see him start linking up with Aaron Rodgers, getting on the same page as him. And Christian Watson looks really good here too. It doesn't look like he's, you know, holding back on that leg at all. I believe he had a knee scope right after OTAs. He said he felt a little tightness. They went in there, cleaned it up. Better to be precautious in that sense. You know, if they didn't do anything, who knows what would have happened midseason. It might have flared up, could have became an issue, and then he's getting surgery midseason, which you definitely do not want. So it's it's better to get that done sooner rather than later. But Christian Watson, man, super excited for him in this offense. This dude has so much athletic ability, speed, deep threat ability. Him and Romeo Dobbs, uh, love those both of those selections. So hype to finally start to see you know, Christian Watson on the field. Yeah, I have just one more clip of him here. It's going to be interesting to uh, see how they tally up those snaps, not only in practice, but the, the next two preseason games, given Christian Watson plays in them. Um, because Romeo Dobbs, I mean, he's earned his snaps. He's earned to get a ton of snaps with the ones, with the twos, whatever it may be in practice, in preseason. But obviously... They want to see what they got with Christian Watson. So uh, I think it's going to be a lot of these two guys for the first you know, half of the next two preseason games, given Christian Watson does play. Um, but we'll, we'll see what else happens. Amari Rodgers really was impressive last game. I really like him, like what I saw against the uh, 49ers there. So I'm really happy about the young talent on this roster right now in this wide receiver room. So hopefully all these guys can stay healthy. And also excited about the veteran talent. And Sammy Watkins, Alan Lazard, and Randall Cobb. Those three guys could be a big part of the offense as well. And then, of course, the three draft picks, Christian Watson. Watson, Romeo Dobbs, and Samora Torre. So glad to see Christian Watson back. I, I predicted he would be back very, very soon, and this about checks out. He looks great. Doesn't look like the knee's bothering him at all. Super excited to see him finally in a game. And lastly, we have a clip of the running backs, and that's great because I wanted to talk a little bit about the running backs and how that went down against the 49ers on Friday. And my guy, Tyler Goodson, had such a great game. I've been hyping him up all preseason I've been saying you know since he was drafted since he was sorry signed as an undrafted free agent uh, I expect this guy to make the roster he's my dark horse player even though the Packers have AJ Dillon and Aaron Jones and even Kylan Hill who surprisingly isn't activated off the PUP today I thought he would be the first player but he's not uh, nonetheless I really like what I saw from Tyler Goodson Friday. I mean, this dude has so much versatility. He was a quick, he had quick one cuts, finding the hole and getting upfield. Obviously, we saw a little bit of him in the uh, uh, receiving game as a, as a screen. He made a big play on a running back screen. So right now, um, with the active players, I have Tyler Goodson as running back three. Dexter Williams looked really good, too. He looked a lot faster than, than we've seen in the past few years when he was here. Um, was not impressed with Patrick Taylor. And I've been saying that, and, and a lot of people in my comments are saying, oh, you're, you're underrating Patrick Taylor. And I've said, no, I'm, I think I'm properly rating Patrick Taylor and properly rating Tyler Goodson, which is just better. And more upside, more versatility, really like Tyler Goodson um, and his odds to make this roster and make this 53-man roster as the third or fourth running back, depending on Kylan Hill. But those are all the clips I have from day 14 of Packers training camp practice. Today was such a big day. I mean, getting these three guys back off the PUP, Elton Jenkins, an all-pro lineman at any position you put him at. Robert Tunyon, um, a big target for Aaron Rodgers, especially in the red zone. You know, 10 touchdowns just a couple years ago. And of course, Christian Watson. We haven't seen any of him yet with Aaron Rodgers. Um, only a little bit in rookie minicamp and OTAs. And then got that knee scope. So really excited to see him back on the field um, in training camp. Hopefully we get to see him in full force against the joint practice with the joint practices against the Saints, as well as the game against the Saints this coming Friday. Hopefully, you know, he's ready to go. Really want to see him and Romeo Dobbs on the field at the Saints. Same time. But that about does it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, if you could please leave a like down below, support my channel a ton. But I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. As always, go back, go. <laughs>